is good you it's your boy Sam back here with another video and in this video today guys we're going to be talking about the my team playbook that did get leaked and released today at nba 2k 24 my team now here's the deal we've already seen some of the stuff that is coming we knew mj Mello, and tim duncan were coming we also did know that the Wilt Chamberlain and SGA were going to be the rewards. But we're going to be covering the other rewards that are coming in my team uh, tomorrow. As well as, you know, what it's going to take to get Mellow as well as Tim Duncan. Now, before we dive any further in this, if you're new to the channel, make sure to smash that subscribe button on the road towards 130,000 subscribers. So obviously, Wemby is the highlight of the season two, I guess. But he's only a free agent card. Ready for liftoff, okay? Friday the 20th, tomorrow, debut season two with a new double collection set filled with new players that are your my team collection liftoff. It includes three legendary diamond cards to lead your lineups into the new season, along with over 20 new player cards to collect from both the player market and pack market. Obviously, the inserts, uh, Tim Duncan, Carmelo Anthony as collection rewards. To help your collection get started in the new season, you can also earn unsellable equal chance packs for the gems included in Liftoff's collections. Gold through Amethyst. So I do this, is, this let's see, uh, this is in Liftoff's collection. So I don't know exactly how that works. It does, uh, my guess is that you're going to be able to do that in as far as the agendas. It doesn't say agendas though. So I don't know. It says the, the liftoff collections. I don't know where those equal chance are going to come in, but we definitely will have to just see on it. You guys can see in the graphic, Mellow, Small Four, Power Four, probably going to be okay. Tim Duncan going to be absolutely elite. I, is MJ like the ultimate lock-in? I don't know. Special insert in player market, though, so he's available directly the pay, via the player market. Can also get Amy, George Mikan, Michael Finley, Darren Williams, and Glenn Robinson. Some solid Amis as you do go through things. Ruby Derek Anderson, Detlef Shrimp, Sapphire Lionel Simmons, as well as Lou Dor, Aaron Aflalo, Emerald Bob Sura, Landry Fields, Deshaun Stevenson. Chance for some really good budget options. Those are in the Tim Duncan set. Mellow set, you get Ruby Joe Smith. I think he's what? The seven foot small four power forward should be good. Jeff Petrie, he's been good with the cheesy release in the past. Some Sapphires, Emerald Flip Murray, Daniel Marshall with some golds as well the diamond mj here okay he joins he's uh, available via a special insert as well as a uh, directly via the player market so you should be able to get him with mt or vc i don't know how much he's gonna be but again he is going probably to cost quite a bit uh you know it's just this is gonna be basically set the set the standard for how my team is gonna be for the rest of the year with how expensive he is says if you add MJ to your collection and you score 23 points with him, you earn 50,000 MT. So, here's the deal. If Michael Jordan, and, and honestly, I expect him to be expensive, but if he, let's say, is 300,000 MT, it's not actually as bad because, look, then he's basically only 250,000 MT. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody's basically going to be able to get that done. I just, I don't know if I'm a, I'm a big fan of that. It also says similar agendas for Diamond Mellow and Diamond Tim Duncan. The problem with Diamond Tim Duncan and Diamond Mellow are those are lock-ins, so that's not going to be as important. But with, with MJ, guys, he is going to be expensive because if you're getting 50,000 MT just by grinding a simple challenge, just know he's not going to be cheap, okay? Obviously, season two rewards in my team's Diamond Will Chamberlain is level 40. SGA is the ultimate reward, basically grinding for all the Ruby rewards in the game modes. And then here are your rewards, okay? Unlimited reward, Ruby Chris Morris. Chris Morris? Um, let me look something up real quick, because I would be lying to say I've ever, you know, noticed a Chris Morris uh, player in my team. Chris Morris, okay. Um, He was a high draft pick, I mean... He never, I, he was fine in the NBA. I, I mean, he was never like that great. He was a 6'8 small forward shooting guard. Now, you guys be the judge of that. 6'8 small forward shooting guard is, is, is what I'm predicting. He could be really good, depending on how good 2K makes him. I know people are upset about the Ruby tier, but they could make Rubies really good, okay? Obviously, Ruby, Eddie Johnson for clutch time, 50 win reward. We know, uh, we, we know what kind of Eddie Eddie Robin or Eddie, Eddie uh, Johnson has looked like. Cliff Robinson is your clutch time online 50 win reward. He's been good in the past. Mike Conley is your triple threat, the 100 win reward. He is going to stink. Bob Love triple or triple threat online win reward. He's probably gonna be decent. Ra Raymond Felton, 
co-op, not going to be good. Jerome Currency in the token market, Ruby Phil Jackson in the token market, Sapphire Rick Fox in the token market. We'll see if any of those guys are going to be worth it. Level 25, you do get Kevin McHale. Level 15, Jeff Hornacek. Uh, Sapphire Bernard King at level 10. Emerald AD at level 6. Might be okay for an Emerald. And then Luca at level 3. Here's the deal, guys. Out of all these, Chris Morris is the only card that I think is going to be absolutely elite. I mean, Cliff Robinson's going to be fine. Bob Loves is going to be okay. Eddie Johnson's going to be okay. Chris Morris is going to be absolutely elite, as well as, obviously, the level 40 Wilt Chamberlain and Diamond SGA are going to be elite as well. Now, it says Greg Popovich is going to be available as a level 35 uh, season reward. Improving your player's workhorse badge two times level for the first half of all games. Wow. That's kind of crazy. Now, I mean, we've seen stats, and uh, but improving badges is kind of crazy. You guys can see the essential reward is Ruby Christian Leitner. Uh, and remember, Pro Pass and Hall of Fame Pass also get additional picks. We kind of knew that. Pro Pass is Amy Donovan Mitchell and a Hoff Hyperdrive. Look, am I going to get that? I mean, we'll see. I just I want to know the extra MT and VC along the way because that's really what's important. But I don't know if I'm going to buy that. Just because Donovan Mitchell, to me, is it going to be better than Kyrie or Steph? I highly doubt it. Terry D passed away. Rest in peace, Terry Dishinger. Uh, and you can get him in salary cap. Starting with, with Ruby E. Jinlian. I'm not going to lie. Ruby E. Jinlian for, uh, for for no money spent players is going to be absolutely elite. Maybe even for us, everybody out there. Because he's seven feet tall, probably going to be able to play the power forward position and to shoot the ball really well. Alternate uniforms, sleeve ultimate uni alternate uniforms are back. These gold uniform cards have been added in packs and boxes. Okay, that's fine. Collect all of them for a Hall of Fame badge pack. Okay, that's cool. How many championships have you won? Okay, uh, every Friday through Sunday, you can earn more. Earn one unlimited ring in season two, you'll get an unsellable uh, liftoff deluxe pack. Earn two, you'll get an unsellable ruby. And earn three, you'll get an unsellable amming. The problem is unsellables. Like, they're fine. But why are they unsellable? I just don't like that. For each win in my team seasonal mode, you will earn a mini game for additional rewards. With NBA season starting next week, Series 1 and premium player cards for current NBA and team packs will be rewarded in these mini games. Door game, okay, you guys, you guys can see what's coming. The door game or the wheel spin or ball drop. I mean, I don't really know what I think about that. It's fine, but it looks like it is changing for different game modes. That's kind of interesting, I guess. And then obviously NBA team basketball cards are back uh, and you get a Hall of Fame badge pack. To me, that's not really anything crazy. Here's your upcoming schedule. You guys can see a co-op double XP weekend. A Genesis for Series 1, D-Book, Bronze, Steph. The NBA is back. Uh, we'll see what that's like. And then a Series 1, Kawhi and Sabonis. None of these are really that crazy um, as far as rewards. Hopefully the NBA is back is cool. Uh, and then check back here for 10-16. For the next installment of the Mind Team playbook just uh, in time for Hall Halloween. Then you'll get the last chance reminders. Look, I'm not super excited about this upcoming C or upcoming week, I should say. SJ is cool, Wilt's cool, but the rest of it, to me, I'm not really that big of a fan of. MJ would be cool if he wasn't super expensive. And just a reminder, MJ's not going to be that good this year. His release leaves a lot to be desired. That's going to wrap it up for our video today, guys. Let me know your thoughts on Season 2 coming soon in NBA 2K24, my team. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.